Good morning, Wildcats, and happy Thursday morning to you. So we do have a lot of announcements and a lot of important information to review in today's announcements. But first, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that showed off their amazing talents of drawing, singing. We have horseback riding. We have students that play the instruments. So thank you to everyone that participated and Remember, you still have until 3 o'clock to send me those videos to be part of the Wildcat Wednesday video. Now, we have had some students that have asked if it's okay if they send a picture, uh, I'm sorry, a video of them singing but not having the camera on. And that is perfectly fine because your talent is your singing voice. So again, send in those videos by 3 o'clock and you can still be part of our Wildcat Wednesday and be a part of all of the amazingly talented students that we have at Weaver. And today, make sure that you're checking your email for the elective video and Google form for all of our sixth and seventh grade students. You're gonna be choosing electives for your year, seventh or and or eighth grade year if you're a seventh grader. So make sure to check your email from Ms. Wood for the video and the Google form for the electives. And today is Digital Learning Day. Today is recognized as Digital Learning Day. And so our question of the day is, what is something that you have enjoyed about digital learning during distance learning? So not asking if you've enjoyed everything about it, but what is one thing that you have enjoyed about this learning environment, the digital learning during distance learning? So make sure to answer that question of the day, either at the bottom of the link, the video, or the link that is in your email. Now, today and tomorrow, we will be on a little bit of a different schedule, so you will have your homeroom check-in from 8.35 to 9.35, but then from 9.35 to 12.35, you're gonna be working on your work assigned by your teachers. After that, you'll have your lunch, and then in the afternoon, you'll still be able to get your Reading Plus completed and then continue working on your asynchronous work. And again, that is our schedule for Thursday and Friday because Monday, and everyone is getting really excited about getting campus ready. We will begin our hybrid AB schedule. And so you should have your information that has been mailed home for who your in-person teacher will be. And then letters are still going out for those students that are gonna continue on distance learning with who your distance learning morning teacher is gonna be. And we'll be reviewing that schedule here in a little bit in the announcements today. Let's not forget, we are Weaver Wildcats, and we live the Weaver way, so Wildcats continue to work responsibly, have that excellent behavior and that attitude of achievement, make sure you're valuing everyone, exhibiting respect, and coming ready to learn. Let's also make sure that we continue to do our part to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. This is going to be extremely important for our students that are going to be returning to in-person on campus. Make sure that you are washing your hands frequently and often. You're practicing that good respiratory hygiene. You avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. You're maintaining social distance of six feet or greater when you're out. And then make sure that if you are feeling sick, stay home and take that time to get better. Now, as we, as some of you guys are getting ready to come back, you will still have distance learning in the afternoon remotely for your Zoom classes. So everyone needs to make sure that you're still checking your G G school Gmail account. You're still checking into your Google Classrooms every day. You're checking into your daily class meetings and following the correct day schedule. You're watching the daily announcements, especially on a day like today, where we have a lot of important information to go over. And make sure you answer that question of the day so we can have some fun and still can build that community together. And then make sure you're taking those brain breaks to get up and just kind of move around and get that blood flowing back through your body and into your brain. Now, like you already said, just a visual schedule of what today looks like. So you'll start in your homeroom, and then as we discussed earlier in the announcements, you'll have asynchronous assignments, lunch, reading plus to get done for the rest of Thursday and Friday. Okay, so ignore that it says Friday there. This is for both Thursday and Friday. Don't forget, you still do have time, 7th and 8th grade students, if you're interested in joining CJSF. Make sure to send Ms. Brummel an email by next Thursday, the end of the school day. And remember, you even if you were part of CJSF first or second trimester, you still need to reapply. So if there are any questions, make sure to email Ms. Brummel about CJSF. And we are almost to our deadline. We entries are due 
So make sure if you're wanting to be a part of the Merced County Writing Festival, join the Google Classroom so you can submit your work there. And our question of the day yesterday, if you could only eat one thing with tortilla chips for the rest of your life, what would it be? And so most people chose cheese or salsa. We had a lot of different beans. And then a few students, like I had a hard time choosing between pozole and chili. So a lot of people, I mean, a few students also put pozole. So thank you for everyone that participated. And if you're looking at these pictures, you're probably getting a little bit hungry for some nachos. Am I right? All right, Wildcats, so there is Chess Club today from 1230 to 1.30 with Mr. Mohan or Mr. Cranston, so make sure to contact them for more information about Chess Club. All right, Wildcats, so here's the part of the announcements that we need to spend a little bit of time on today just reviewing, and you'll be able to review this with your teachers as well. This is what the schedule will look like for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade starting Monday, the 1st of March, as we begin in-person hybrid instruction. So the mornings from 8.30 to 11.30, if you're an A person, you'll show up to school on Mondays and Wednesdays. If you're a B person, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then everyone on Friday in the mornings will do a check-in to their homeroom virtually, and then you'll be able to check in with your teachers for office hour and more intervention support. And that is the same for all three grade levels. If you noticed, your Zoom classes have switched now to the afternoon, which will begin at 12.50 and go till 3.30. So, and again, for our distance learning, st our students that are going to remain on distance learning, you will be assigned a distance learning teacher for the morning that you'll be doing check-ins with, and that information is being mailed home to you. So, for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, okay, the afternoon schedule will be the same as it is for the morning right now. It's just the day is flipping. So those students that are returning to on campus. So we'll continue to go over this. We'll continue to review it. This is our first time reviewing it together. And so make sure that you do look over it and then ask your teachers questions. And then always feel free to email me if you have any questions as well. So again, sixth, seventh, and also eighth grade schedules. Remember, this will begin next Monday. And again, make sure to watch that Welcome to Weaver video. Here is the map. A lot of students have been asking about copies of the map right here on the announcements. This is your map here, so you can look at this one. It's also in your email on Monday, uh, attached to the email with the announcements. So make sure to watch that Welcome to Weaver video so that you know how to enter campus, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade whether you are picked up, I'm sorry, dropped off in the morning, or if you're a walker, or if you're a bus rider. So all the different ways that you come on campus so that you know the requirements once you're on campus. All right, Wildcats, I know I talked a lot this morning. I apologize for that. Just a lot of important information that's gonna be coming out and coming as we get closer to our return date on Monday. Remember Wildcats, each one of you is great. Just allow yourselves to be. Have a great day.